Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. In this video, we will learn about the ReactJS component lifecycle. So right now we are dealing with the class components, right? So for the class components, we are having lifecycle, which just like the Angular on the Vue.js, how they are having the lifecycle. So these are uh, the component also when when rendering this one, it undergoes some life cycles. Let's try to see those life cycles. What are the life cycles? It will be executed. So for a, in a component life cycle okay so let's move here if you open here react js okay in the react js website if you go to the docs and if you go to the api reference in the react component you'll be able to see the life cycle here okay life cycle actually it will be divided into two phases in this one so first one is the mounting so that means mounting is nothing but while the component is creating and the second option is the updating so when the component is updating so whenever any state updates so whenever it tries to re-render it again so uh, in that phase updating okay so these are the two phases you will be having so next another one is the unmounting unmounting means destroying so ng on destroy how you will be having so on destroy how you will be having on destroy also in the view so in the same scenario you'll be having so first let's try to see this mounting uh, life cycle so when the component is uh, rendering so what are the phases it will undergo you can also see the life cycle diagram also here if you try to open here you'll be able to see the life cycle diagram so the entire life cycle diagram how the react js component will be undergoing in every phase so here you will be having three phases mounting updating and also unmounting okay let's try to see each and phase so first let's try to see the mounting so here you will be having the first one is the constructor okay so if you see the constructor constructor is the not a life cycle of the component but it is a while defining your class it is a constructor as a default one for the class so first the method executing will be the constructor in this constructor you need to understand that you need to send the props to the super so the super means nothing but the parent constructor so you need to send must and should you need to send the props to the uh, parent constructor so that means nothing but the react component uh, class so next another one constructor uh, what you will be doing is here you can also define the state so uh, if you want to define the states whatever the state you will be having so here it will be defined so the new state will be defined here so you cannot update the state you can only declare the state here in the constructor you need to remember this one and another one will be the get derived state from the props so that means so get derived state the name itself indicates that get derived state so that means the props if you are getting any uh, props to that component if you want to do some calculations or anything using that props if you want to update the state you can use you can use this you will be using this rarely so you will be not using most commonly so if you are updating the state depending on the props it means so why because the props as it is a read only thing so if you want to copy the props into the state and you want to do some calculations or things means you can you can use this life cycle hook. and this one will be this one will be called when the when the first the component is mounted and also every time the state or props is getting updated you'll be able to see this updation okay next another one will be the render so then afterwards render will be executed so here in the mounting mounting phase then afterwards render will be executed so in this render you will be having the template and all those things it will be rendered so now in this render what it will happen is so all the child components everything whatever the things you are having in this render everything will be executed the child components also if it has the child components if it has the uh, life cycle hooks all the life cycle hooks will be get executed then afterwards you will be uh, then afterwards component did mount will be executed so component did mount is the main thing where you will be working so if you want to do any external http calls and all those things you will be doing here is the component did, uh, did mount so here you will be running the what i can say uh, set state and all those things you will be able to run why because you need to un you need to uh, rarely update this one why because if you get any from the promised data or anything so why because if the component did mount is uh, uh, updating the statements again the render will execute okay so you need to understand so this is the thing so here mounting constructor get derived state from the props this one is a static method you need to understand this one is a static if you click here i think you will be able to see about this option yeah here so this is a static method and it will have a having two para parameters that is props and the state and here it will be right before calling the render method so now it should return an object so it should return an object to update the state on so you will be using the rare case this this one will be used the rare case why because where the state depends on changes in the props over time okay so now let's try to see the real time scenario how this uh, 
what we can say life mounting life, life cycle routes will be executed so let's go to our project here we are having the post component first the first one will be the constructor okay i am writing the constructor so constructor as i already told you so this one will have a parameter of props so now in this props what i will try to do is so first we need to send it to super of props right so now here you can what you can do is you can either copy this one okay entire state and you can remove the state itself and what i can do is this dot state is equal to i can redeclare it here okay so this is one phase you can do it like this also so now we have called a constructor what i will try to do is here at the bottom console.log post.js so constructor called okay i will be writing constructor called this is the constructor i am calling and another one what i will try to do is so here we have already learned that is another one is the static get derived state from props okay so this is another method so this one will be having two or two parameters that is props and the state so if you want to update the state here using the props you can do and you need to return the updated state here so right now i am returning only the state so next one will be the render so now after all this execution render will execute so here i can write it the render method here i can write console.log okay so post.js render call i can use this method okay so now let's go to top so static get derived also we have called it right so we are just returning the state here let's write to console.log this one also get derived call so then afterwards what it will try to do is so now it will execute the component read mount so this is the method it will be executing so here i can write console.log post.js component read mount call okay so this is the life cycle look so first one will be the constructor so constructor it will be called then afterwards static get it get derived from state from props will be called then afterwards you need to understand that render will be called so in this render what it will try to do is it will execute all the components uh, child components everything after completion of this child components what it will do then afterwards only then component did mount will call so for example here you are having a single post right so let's try to re i will remove these all the posts i will keep only the one post and if you go to the single post.js okay so now we let's try to write the comp components here also okay life cycle looks here also so constructor props it will be having the props so here i can write console.log so single post constructor called i can use directly like this right so now why you need to rem remember that you need to call super of props or otherwise it will not work you will throw you will get an error next afterwards what you will be having is static get derived state from props okay so this one will be having two argument uh, two parameters so this one will be having props and state and you need to return the state here you need to return the state so if you update the state or anything you need to update the you need to return the state and here what i need to do so i can write the console.log so single push or otherwise you can copy directly here okay i can paste it here so get derived called okay now here after render what it will be having you will be having so the same scenario you can take this console then after render will be called so render called i can use directly render called and another one will be the component did mount so here i can write component did mount sorry did not did update did mount component did mount and here i can paste it and component did mount called okay so now let's try to see the output so here the post.js we are having and in the single post.js also the child component what is the the, the child component of post.js also is having the life cycle looks let's try to see the output if i go to the react app and if i try to uh, execute this one let's try to see the output so here we are getting an error that it is telling okay cannot read property title of none one one we are using okay 
let's say try to see here somewhere we are using one it is saying okay we are having the previous old uh, code so let's try to comment out this one okay now if i try to execute yeah i'm able to see the output i will refresh this one so now here you it will be saying that get error but initial state is under this recommended instead it is saying some error it is throwing so in the single post we haven't written the state it seems so in the single post if you go here we are returning the state here so then what is the error why is the error it is showing so i have saved it this one let's try to re refresh it again again still it is saying single post uses get error share from but its initial state is not is undefined okay okay this initial state is not even instead define the initial state by assigning so it is saying that get derived have a consistent shape okay so in this one it doesn't have the shape uh, state so that is the reason you don't don't include this one it is saying okay we will remove this one so now what it is having here so now here you will be having a warning so if you leave, leave it like that so now you can see localhost 3000 is there so now first the constructor is called okay fine then after post.js get derived is called okay fine then afterwards post.js render is called okay so that means in the post.js everything three is called so get derived state from props first constructor is called get derived state from props and then render so render after render it went to the single post again it is executing the life cycle constructor is called and in this single post you will be able to see that get derived call but it doesn't but that single post doesn't have a state it is a stateless component so that is the reason it is telling that get derived state from uh, props cannot be you will be having a warning why because state is not there so you can uh, there will be no need for us to mention this one you will not get a chance to mention why because there is no state so now get derived is called so single post render is called then af uh, after component did mount is called in the single post so after completion of all these things then again it came to the post.js parent component then it executed the component did mount called so that means component did mount in the parent component is called whenever all the child components all uh, all the child components if it is rendered then only it will be executed in the parent component okay you need to remember this main thing so this is how the when the component creation occurs in a react js components class components so this is the process how the life cycle hooks will be executed okay so the constructor get derived state render and again in the child components constructor if single post has another child component missed so those life cycle hooks also will be completed then afterwards it will come to the single post did mount and then afterwards it will come to the parent did mount so like this the bubbling will be happening okay so this is the life cycle hooks in the creation life cycle hooks in the react js so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to see about the updation how the updation life cycle hooks will be executed okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you